Well, good morning and happy Easter. Thanks for coming out in the rain for, our, for the food blessing. Uh, for those who are, are joining us via live stream, um, happy Easter to you as well. So we'll just take a moment um, as the uh, church slowly comes back to life after we walk through the uh, Holy Thursday and the Good Friday services. Uh, now all the beautiful flowers are out and we're getting ready for Easter. We'll, we'll take a minute and bless our food baskets uh, that we brought with us, food that may contain uh, what we're eating tomorrow. Um, I have eggs in my basket, so if it smells, I just uh, boiled them about a half hour ago. Uh, but you may have your Easter food out and ready to bless today, either on, on, online or, or you might have it in your baskets here. Or um, just uh, food that symbolizes uh, what you use throughout the year. So I put honey in the basket because I eat that every day. I put some of Rick's lemon packets because he puts that on his food every day. So it's, it's just a, an opportunity to give thanks for all the great blessings that we have and pray that we may have all that we need uh, this upcoming year. And also to hold in our hearts in a special way those who are less fortunate than we are and, uh, and don't have uh, what they need at this time. So we begin, we pray in the name of God, our Creator, Jesus, our Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, our Sanctifier. Amen. As we pray in gratitude for God's blessings upon the work of the hands that created the food we brought today and our hands as we prepare it, uh, let us not forget that we must also do the works of holiness in our lives. And so therefore, uh, we pray using the response, Lord, bless the fruits of our labor. All provident God, your care has given us food from the earth. Grant that these crops we have harvested in the sweat of our brow may sustain us in body and help us to grow in spirit, we pray. Lord, bless the fruits of our labor. Through Jesus Christ, you have made the world abound in the works of holiness. Grant that living in him, we may share in the fullness of life and bear much fruit, we pray. Lord, bless the fruits of our labor. When we gather for Eucharist or dine at our tables, um, you have uh, taken up the fruits of our hands as a sign of the mystery of faith. Grant that the gifts we bring may always be blessed by your Son, and that the table we sit at may be open to all. We pray. Lord, bless the fruits of our labor. And you have planned that all your children should share in the good you have provided. Grant that all those who are in need may come to enjoy an untroubled life and to glorify you and together praise your name, we pray. Lord, bless the fruits of your labor. I'll take a moment and bless the baskets and then, um, and then we can uh, listen to a... Uh, Listen to a closing song. Um, would anybody else like to come up and bless the baskets? Or? Okay. I will invite you to extend your hands, though, and then we'll pray together over our baskets. So we pray, Creator of God and Lord of life, you who call forth from the darkness of death all those who love you. Supreme Spirit of all creation, we rejoice this morning in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus the Christ, and we place before you the gifts of our food and our Easter meals. From our own ancient traditions, we have prepared these ageless signs of life, bread, salt, and eggs, and many other things, looks like chips and crackers and wine and oil, and we ask that you now bless them. Fill these simple gifts with your uh, energy and your healing and your uh, gracious love and power. Bring uh, your nourishment to our food, our bread to life, salt to preserve the hope of Easter morning, and eggs as eternal signs of the divine life hidden in each of us. May these uh, gifts of food and drink grace all who shall eat them, and may the family table where they are shared be illuminated with the light of our Easter feast day celebration. May our table be richly blessed with the holiness of joy and peace and love. May your ageless blessing of your divine name be upon our, our gifts we bring today. In the name of God the Creator, Jesus the Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit. 